Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here and Friday challenge is going to start now. Then why not start off with a little bit of a bronzing? We got two bronze players here in the lower left hand corner playing as the Red Protoss. It is what I'm always going to call as symbols because I can't read that language. I'm not ignorant towards it, I just can't read it so I'm going to call you symbols. In the upper right hand corner it is barcode one more time here playing as the blue Protoss. Should be fairly decent. Really stealing the barcode name. Usually barcodes only use if you're a higher end player and you don't want a bunch of people bugging you. But either way, teach your own. You can really use whatever name you want in StarCraft. That's the glory of it here. So we'll start this baby off. As everybody knows, the Friday challenge was no warp gates, no reactors, and no larva injects here. So we'll see a no warp gate game coming out of barcode. Barcode gives the double high arrows. Not too sure what that means. Maybe he's pointing at something. I'm not entirely sure. But either way there, we'll do it the double arrows. As you can see, it's 33 to 14 in the APM tab. So looking pretty good there. Take a look at the production tab here. Does look like we are basically just probing up here. Gateway's coming down here. There's the gateway finally going down for barcode. Symbols already has his going down right at the entrance with a little bit of a wall off. And both these guys will actually not do any sort of early scouting by no means here. Nothing wrong with that. Like I say, usually about a four or five minute scout would be decent too. And we do have the one gas going down for Barcode. He is walling off that mineral lines. So he's going to wall the mineral line. Opponent's going to try to wall the wrap. So both of them with a little bit different build and placement here. There we go. Pylon going in the back there. One gas for symbols. And now he will elect to move himself. Possibly out of the base here. Yes, he is actually going to look to go search himself across the map. See what kind of see what kind of intel he can get at the other end here. Meanwhile, Barcode is going to probably plant down the cyber core, I would have to imagine. Or maybe a second pylon. Or a second gateway, or just stand there and luck smart. There we go. There's a cyber core going down there, so very well done there. So we do have gateway into cyber core. Opponent, in the meantime, he is going to do the same thing, putting the cyber core way over there on the outside, and he's going to get himself slowly across the ramp here. And at the same time, Barcode's going to scout his wall here, so very well done there. He's going to intersect him, and he's going to go see what he can see at the other end of the map here. And he's going to find himself basically a gateway, a cyber core, a couple pylons, and one gas being fully saturated. Or maybe he's going to say, fuck it, he didn't expand. I think that's what he did, actually. He was basically looking for an expansion, or at least that's the only thing I could uh, chalk that up to. Or maybe he doesn't think his opponent is up there. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing here. Uh, I don't think he scouted to the right area. I think he's assuming that it's, since he didn't see his opponent right in this location that uh, his opponent's not down there. In the meantime, Barco is going to scout to the wrong corner first here, and I actually think that's what happened. So that, that may be very interesting come later in the game here. So Symbols basically following the opponent around here. <laughs> so very well done there. Now uh, Barco will finally find his opponent in the lower left hand corner. And at the same time there, Symbols is getting himself out a second gateway. So two gateways and a cyber core and fully saturated gas. So looking to get into a fairly heavy gas build is also getting himself down warp gate technology. And at the other end here, do we have our warp gate technology all done? No, I haven't even started on a barcode. Of course, can't build warp gate technology. God, did I have a mind blank there. Fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so we are going to sit back here. There herself a second gateway. He's obviously going to need massive gateways since he can't warp in here. And there we go. The good old mothership core does manage to take out the one probe down there. At the same time, like I say, the opponent's going to get up here and think, what the hell? He's going to think his opponent doesn't exist. So he does come up here, finally gets right up onto the upper ramp on this one here. And like I say, no, did not see his opponent. Okay, so I'm not wrong there. Definitely has no idea. He's really scratching his head at this time here. Symbols. You look like one confused probe. So he's actually just going to stand there and try to accumulate in his head exactly where he is not seen, which I will think he will see the very dark corner up here and finally get himself back up into that corner, realizing that's where his opponent is. In the meantime there, it does look like our good man Barcode is going to expand. So very well done there, working on two gate into a Stargate. Very good choice there. And his opponent at the same time here is going with himself uh, right into a Robo. Very decent build here. He's going three gate Robo, not bad at all. And like I say, it's accumulating a fair bit of gas here. So very heavy on the gas. So now let's see how smart this probe is here. He's going to move himself out here. And if he goes to the upper left, right hand corner, he will finally scout his opponent out. And that's exactly what he's doing. So he did look at the map, did accumulate all that intellect, and knows exactly where his opponent is here. Meanwhile, it does look like Barcode Scott himself, Modern Core, might actually get him killed here before he gets up there. Not quite. So his opponent will see that he has expanded. So now that Barcode has expanded, or maybe thinks that's his main base. 
<laughs> out of the scouting he's done that's all the intel he has that could be his main base for all he knows here is he has no idea what's up here and i have to imagine he's going to move up here pretty quick here and once he sees that stargate he's going to have to start making sure he's got some stalkers on the field here at least a lot of stalkers on the field there we go pylon on the lower ground so we'll give him the option to expand as well they do clean up that probe so probe doesn't have any intel at all as it was not able to get into the base here barcode has a probe that's going to stand there kind of view those twirling pylons see the magnificent building job they've done and we also have a forge on the field as well here so very well done we'll allow them to get some cannons and some upgrades here in the meantime there we are going to go with voids so it will be voids here and it does look like symbols is ready to move out here as a very uh a ah, decent army, I guess you could say. They're taking a look at the units tab here. You can see he does have one immortal, two stalkers, and two sentries, and a mothership core going across here. So might put a little bit of early pressure on here for Barcode. Might be a little bit trouble. As he does pawn them all in random locations here. Has, uh, oh, sorry, that's a proxy pylon. Proxy pylon there, waiting for the rest of the units to come up here, especially waiting for that immortal, as that will definitely be a very big trouble for Barcode here. Barcode in the meantime only has three stalkers and a mothership course, so this might not go overly well for him. There's the observer, it gets the vision there. So here we go. I'm not, ooh, didn't like what he's seen. Oh, just waiting for the rest of his units here. There we go. He's gonna continually back and forth here. There we go. I imagine he's gonna push at this point. And Barcode, I don't like the odds here as he does end up taking those two stalkers down very, very quickly, or at least one of them. Second one does end up escaping barely with like zero hit points there, two hit points there. He is going to go to work. We'll take out the expansion for Barcode, but at the same time, Barcode might want to start getting those void rays out here. How many voids does he have on the field here? Just the one as of yet. And they're just going to clean up that Nexus quite easily. He's continuing to bring his army up here. So this isn't going to go over well for Barcode. I can't imagine how he's going to fend this off. Photon Overcharge will definitely be used, I'd have to imagine here. As this is going to be very big trouble for him. By the meantime, he does have two voids on the field now, so not too bad. That does look like one stalker will come in there. Not a very fair battle at all, unless you are a Rambo stalker, which apparently that one was not. So we'll set the bottom of the ramp here. I'm not too sure. Is Symbol scared to go up top? He hasn't been up top all game. We'll actually see the voids are on the field, so he will need to target those voids, obviously, here. And he is going to move the observer, sit it right above that army here, so he knows exactly what he's walking into. Guardian Shield goes down there, needs to get everything up the ramp there in order to take those voids out or try to get the voids out of position here. Ah, uh, doesn't want to engage that at all. Has enough stalkers to do so, I do believe, or at least be very close, especially with the sentry count. Maybe playing a little bit too passive symbols, I will say that. Maybe a little bit too passive, especially with two immortals on the field. We'll be able to clean up the ground army quite easily here. And is going to continue to maybe push a little bit further ahead here. But at the same time, we do have... No, nothing else. I was going to say, just the one Zealot out there. So, take a look at the production tab. couple more voids on the way here. That will definitely help out. Four voids should be able to do a lot of damage here. Guardian Shields goes down. Don't want to get caught out of position. Want to get back on the high ground there. couple shots in the void. Almost takes out one void. I would like to see him push there. This is where a lot of people fail in their games. He's just not aggressive enough. He's got the army to do so. But at the same time, now the, uh, now the void rate count is up to four. So, it's going to make a lot of trouble. Uh, anyways, I guess he is going to sit back and relax here. Doesn't really want to push this. I'm not too sure why. Uh, but like I say, he does have, you even have the warped pylon over here. If he wants to warp some more units, there we go. Another stalker will come down there. It's exactly what he needs. At least three or four more stalkers in there. At the same time there, we are continuing on our void way uh, here. And we are also getting an observer out of his zone here. So barcode, not too bad. Did supply block himself. Both these guys actually supply blocked at the exact same amount. So very, very well done there. That's how you know you have two bronzer players. Both queued up on the exact same supply block. And not getting rid of it anytime soon here. Does look like Symbol is very, very passive. Really doesn't want to get up there. But at the same time, he doesn't need to get his pylons going here. There we go. We are up to five Void Rays. He can't allow this Void Ray count to get too high or he's going to be in very big trouble. Oh, moves him in. Loses a free stalker there. So very well done there. They'll continue to chase this army down. Oh, he is retreating. Losing a lot of hit points. Could have almost followed that and got a few more kills. But either way, uh, probably a fairly good move to move back just in case he got caught out of position there. So we will sit here and mack ourselves up a bit as they're both unsupply blocked. And nobody really wanted to move. Like I say, symbols is detriment here so far is just not being aggressive enough. He's now allowed uh, Barcode to just get too many voids on the field. Really nothing he can do unless he can warp in maybe six or seven more stalkers to help out here. Uh, will be very big trouble though once he does engage those void rays, especially if they get on their, their good old prismatic alignment there. 
So it does take out another observer as it tries to get in there. As now he has vision and has four symbols back, way back out of the base here. Symbols in the meantime trying to macro up on his expansion. So he is up one base, so not looking too, too bad there. Has stuck his opponent on one base with two Stargates, which kind of sucks for him as it's hard to maintain two Stargates on one base, especially with the Robo building. Robo's going to get himself, oh, he's going with the Warp Prism. Very interesting choice here. Uh, we'll at least allow him to drop and at least force his opponent right back to the base, but at the same time his opponent is moving back anyways here. As his observers are ready to move in one more time here to see what kind of damage it can do. There's the observer barcode. It's going to go over top and see this army see exactly what it's up against. In the meantime, has put himself down expansion and moved his army back down the bottom ramp to maintain control of that expansion. So very well done there. So no vision up here, so that observer will be able to see this army the entire time here. In the meantime, if we look down the other end, he is doing the same thing. We are going voids on voids. Very interesting there. Three voids are going to come up and support this army here. And I do believe he feels that might be enough. Uh, we'll have to soon find out here. Might actually be enough with that stalker count here. We'll soon find out. So symbols will wait those slow voids from getting up. Their voids need to buff in speed just to make them a little bit more OP. Not that they're OP right now, but a lot of people think they are. There we go. We are going to need a couple pylons down there. Making sure we don't get supply blocked again here. Gas is going to go down as well. Definitely needs to get that second gas down on the expansion. Especially if he's going to mass up these voids here. Has himself... Four voids on the field for a good man of uh, symbols. Seven voids for a good man of barcode. And barcode does finally take out that observer with the vision there. So very well done there. And he's going to sit back a bit there. But it does look like the voids have finally gotten themselves up here. So it does look like it is time for him to attack. See what kind of damage he can do. He's going to start pushing here. There he goes. Guardian shield ends up going down. Prismatic alignment needs to go down here. I would have to imagine here to start cleaning this up. There it goes. Now he's going to start going to work. There's just a ton of voids. They should be able to clean this up quite easily here. And they are actually going to do so. The only couple stock is off. Very massive damage. And now we see the power of Void. Especially with that prismatic alignment. Clean that army up quite easily. Puts them up 81 to 55 in food count here. Meanwhile, it does look like our good band Symbols is going to have to macro himself up. Maybe get himself onto a third Stargate. And start warping in a bunch more stalkers here. Cleans up another unit there. It does look like it was a stock that went down there. And is actually going to push out with this army here. So very decent job. Barcode going to push out. I think that's probably a pretty good idea here. As he has a, a, a maculated the army that was down there. So probably feels that he's up at least in army count here. And in the meantime there we are going to get ourselves a warp prism at the other end too. So very decent. He might actually look to do a drop here. Don't know if he's going to have time though. As this army is moving in with those six voids. Only three voids at the other end there. And of course has some supporting stalkers and some zealots as well here. So barcode might be able to look to finish this off here. We'll soon find out. Not entirely sure if he's going to have enough. It's going to depend on the micro skill there. They're going to take out the pylon right at the beginning here. So now the opponent knows he's there. Has his third out as well here, but might be too little too late. He's going to work on the gas there. Some of the voids are coming in. They're going to try and clean up the zealots here. And these voids are going to go void on void on stalker. And they clean the stalkers up very quickly. Voids are going to clean up the other voids here. So it doesn't look like Barcode might have a win here. Going to try and clean up as many of those probes as can. And it is a GG out of symbols. So my congrats to you, Barcode. You have successfully completed the Friday Challenge. My condolences to you, symbols. My congrats to you, Barcode. I leave you with this. If you ain't ever bought a waffle iron, it doesn't mean you can't cook mashed potatoes. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.